Hey, what's up guys? Buckskin Snuggy here with another video for farming Astral Diamonds. Okay, so this one's basically for the higher level players who are up at level 60. So once you hit level 60, what you're going to want to do is get about a decent uh, gear score of around 8300. And that should be enough to get you into the tier 2 epic dungeon Lair of the Pirate King. So what you're going to want to be doing basically is farming out this, this dungeon as much as you can. Uh, if you get a good group of people together, it should only take you around 25 minutes. Uh, some of the mobs closer towards the end of the dungeon you can actually speed run right by and you don't even have to fight them whatsoever. Uh, this dungeon is really good for farming Seals of the Drake, which if you go to the Seals of the Drake vendor you can get some great tier 2 equipment that will basically upgrade your gear score to a lot better than what it is. Um, another good thing is basically there's three bosses in this dungeon and they all drop tier 2 equipment and you could be selling that equipment on the auction house for a good schwack of astral diamonds. So another thing that's a bonus about this one too is the fact that you can get, you can potentially get some greater marks of potency, greater marks of the union, you can get a bunch of shards for, uh, for different enchantments for your weapons and armor. Um, it's a good way to get some blue uh, gear for gold, so all around this is one of the best, most beneficial uh, things to do basically once you hit level 60 because you want to be upgrading your armor, you want to be getting some good shards and enchantments, and you want to be able to make some decent gold. This should only take 25 minutes and hopefully you will be getting some good RNG because you will be competing with four other people for this equipment that these bosses drop but each different piece of equipment will be selling for different values. Uh, the first boss you're going to be running into is the uh, surgeon. He definitely drops uh, seals of the drake. He drops some tier 2 purple equipment and then the next guy after that is thick gristle. He also drops purple equipment that you could be selling at the auction house and the good thing about these is it's not bind on pickup, it's bind on equip, so as long as you're not equipping them, you can actually be selling them in the auction house for different amounts of astral diamonds. Uh, at the end though, you will be hitting up the chest, and basically when you open the chest, it's going to be bind on uh, your character, so that you will not be able to sell at the auction house. That basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to salvage. And same thing when you run into the last boss, it's going to be the pirate king himself. He also drops uh, purple equipment as you can see at the end here he drops a greater mark of potency I actually missed out on that one though somebody else got it and I didn't get it uh, preferably what I would try to do is I would try to get a group of buddies because at least that way you could keep the astral diamonds within the mix of your buddies or your guild or whatever you want you know you can do this with uh, random people just by queuing up with other people but you know you do kind of face the chances of getting booted it's kind of something that's really annoying in the game, I personally think. I've been booted from these dungeons many times, and there are a lot of different treasure chests that offer up a lot of different stuff. There's a couple of uh, loot boxes that also offer up some great stuff. But yeah, you know, keep plugging away at her, and you'll see at the end, after I fight these different guys, um, I end up getting three or uh, two pieces of purple three pieces of purple equipment one that I have to salvage the other two I sell in the auction house I get a couple of shards and I get some blue gear so I could be selling them just for some gold um, what I try to do personally is when I'm selling on the auction house what I'll try to do is I'll go over and I'll look up the salvage value and I will basically try to undercut the salvage value because you got to understand when you do salvage it, it turns it into rough astral diamonds which have to be refined. And you can only refine up to 24,000 in a day. So basically if you run this dungeon and you salvaged everything, you know, if you run it twice guaranteed, you're going to have more than enough to be capped out at your 24,000 a day. Because me personally, I have... I have over 200,000 rough astral diamonds that I have to refine and even if I didn't play for 10 days, you know, that's still going to take me 10 days to basically refine all of them. So it's kind of annoying. Um, I try to sell the stuff on the auction house so I can get astral diamonds instantly. So like I said, I try to be fair about it. 5,000, I will basically be selling it for 4,500 so that way the person that buys it off me on the auction house will make a couple of astral diamonds and then I make a couple astral diamonds, you know what I mean? So we both walk away with a profit. It keeps the economy kind of fair and it guarantees that your stuff will be selling within a good pace, relatively fast.
But yeah, like I said, so different pieces of equipment will be selling for different values on the auction house. I ended up uh, clearing out about 18000 for a Lizard Folk Skimitar the other day, so that was kind of nice. I ended up getting that in one run. Um, but yeah, like I said, though, if you know, you could do this in about 25 minutes. If RNG is good with you and you can get some good pieces of equipment, you could potentially make up to around twenty-five to 30,000 Astral Diamonds in one run, which is pretty nice. So... Basically, you'll be looking at over a thousand Astro Diamonds in almost a minute. You know, so just keep plugging away at her. This is a great, great dungeon to run. And with your Seals of the Drake, like I said, it's a good way to get some di different equipment, Tier 2 equipment. And even if you do max out and you buy all the equipment you can with the Seals of the Drake, you could easily be salvaging, salvaging that equipment for more rough Astro Diamonds and henceforth earning yourself more in the long run. Um, there's also a great little companion, the War Rat Thief, that you can get for 200 Seals of the Drake. I ended up picking him up. He's he's quite the handy little guy. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, hopefully you guys could definitely earn some good Astral Diamonds out of this, convert it into Zen. Hopefully the auction house prices will be good. Um, if you guys can too, and if you don't want to undercut for the for the salvaging price, you guys don't have to. There are people that are selling it for you know two or three thousand more, but yeah, just keep plugging away at her, you know, look up the prices because the prices will be fluctuating as the more items that are flooded, you know, in regards to these tier 2 items from this dungeon, the more that are in the auction house, mind you, the cheaper the prices are going to get, right? So it's based on supply and demand. Uh, but yeah, you know, just keep plugging away at her. You guys are going to get some great shards. Hopefully you'll get some greater marks of potency and whatnot. Try to stock up on some dungeon keys. Uh, they're 5,000 each, so basically... They will pay for themselves in the long run, guaranteed. If you guys do get to the chest at the end of the dungeon and you aren't happy with what you picked up and you know you aren't going to get a good value for the item that you picked up, simply do not, basically don't take the contents of the chest and you will not use the key. So you can save your key, but if it's a dungeon delves and the, the chest is basically open for free, by all means, you know, take that loot, definitely. But yeah, I hope this helps you guys out with some farming Astro Diamonds and getting some better gear. And hopefully you guys can be plugging away at her. Rack up some decent amount of Zen. I personally, doing this process and doing my daily missions and whatnot, I'm up to about 11,000 Zen. I have, if I converted that right now at the prices that we're standing right now, I'd basically have about 1.7 million astral diamonds and I'm kind of saving up I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna buy I think I'm gonna try to go for that champion in the north pack but I have purchased some stuff already I bought a bunch of bank slots and I bought some character slots I also bought two character slots which weren't on sale which is kinda of foolish so technically I've already spent over 2000 astral diamonds in this or 2000 zen in this game and yet I'm still up around the 1100 um, zen range so you know, plug away at it, guys. The proof is in the pudding right here. I've I've got the numbers to show for it that this actually works. And, you know, try to kick some ass, guys. And hopefully you guys can rack up some big numbers as well. Good luck in your adventures, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I will see you on the next bit of Neverwinter content.